Hey everyone. So I thought it'd be kind of fun to explore the difference between both of the vibrato styles I was talking about in my last video. So just to recap, I've been exploring a little bit of an approach that I've always heard Henrik Schering talked about when he would say vibrato is vertical. And I go into a little spiel about that in uh, the video. And I'm still exploring it for myself to see uh, if I can loosen up uh, residual tension that I have in my technique here. And it's been really transformative. I mean, really a game changer, this hack of trying to practice vibrato as an up and down motion as opposed to horizontal, as most of us have learned. So I'm going to play a little bit of a, an excerpt and just to explore the difference. So first, I'll try the, uh, the normal way that I play, okay? This is a little bit of meditation from Thais. So when I play that way, it feels like my typical self. I'm vibrating. I, I kind of uh, vibrate with a hybrid of hand vibrato, meaning the motion coming from the wrist and hand that I kind of taught myself because um, I was never formally taught vibrato. I always had an instinctual arm vibrato. And then as I got older, I taught myself to incorporate these muscles because I was quite tight. Uh, and then over time, I managed to realize that I always, I just do kind of a combination of both. And I try to really work on feeling vibrato all the way through my fingertip, through my arm, forearm, upper arm, into my back. And that's always helped me keep it more or less released and um, able to play uh, long pieces without getting fatigued. But the vibrato, the vertical way is a complete game changer because it changes the whole concept of how it works. So I'll just play a little bit of that version, even though I'm still working on it, but. I've noticed that it gets a little bit more of that. Again, I'm still working on it, so I don't, <laughs> I don't really know how well I'm doing it. But I feel a difference. I'll, I'll say that much. But I feel like it helps a violinist get that, that interesting sound, that kind of layered, throbbing, old-fashioned. Uh, it helps get more layers in the sound and more variety and more speed, which is why I was initially trying this. Uh, I can get the sound to spin a little bit more to what I hear internally in my mind. So I'm going to go back and watch those two clips and see if there's actually a difference. And, and, and then, now I'm back after listening through those two clips. And they were just spontaneously played. I didn't do takes or anything. I just really wanted to see what it is really different. And they're really different. And I'm really... Uh, encouraged because I um, 
not only was the sound just better, I had more variety uh, instinctually. There was more speed when I wanted. There was less tension overall. It did have that kind of interesting sound that I thought was better. And, but what I noticed was really fascinating was how much more my violin shook around when I did the, my normal style of vibrato back and forth, horizontal. And of course, if any, you know, for anyone who's read all of Simon Fisher's books, which I have, and um, I have been on and off for so many years now, um, it's, it's a really difficult exercise to figure out how to play without the violin shaking a lot. And I just noticed that just by playing more vertically, the scroll was much more still. It was moving, but it wasn't like moving from all this tension. So that's for some reason the most encouraging thing to me. So um, side note, I also tried this style with a student for the first time uh, the other day, and it was remarkable how much faster they were able to get on their way to doing this. So this is good stuff. I hope it helps others.